What's going on guys, my name's Mike and today we're going to talk about six mistakes that you shouldn't be making, financial mistakes that you shouldn't make in your 20s. Please use this as a guide on what not to do. This is the kind of stuff that I always feel that should have been taught a long time ago because it's very easy to fall into some of these traps if that's what you want to call them and a little education would have set us up otherwise so make sure you pay attention and hopefully you learn something now i'm not totally for leasing cars or financing cars and things like that but for the love of god please do not buy a car that is worth more than your yearly salary just think about that that doesn't make any sense personally i don't think we should be able to get finance on cars that are worth more than our salary every time i see an a class and some smug kid driving it thinking he's the bee's knees it's like bro you're probably on 18k and you live at home chill but then after a few seconds i chuckle because i remember how much he's paying for that and in a few years how much better off i'm gonna be so don't be that a-class driver i have nothing against people who drive a-classes other than the dumb ones and then i chuckle again because the amount he's paying is literally for the ego boost I'm not really sure girls even like cars, assuming he's not gay. Yeah, most girls don't like cars. They're not usually impressed by cars, especially A-classes. Now, don't get me wrong, I love cars, but let's be reasonable. Now, before I move on to the next point, I just want to explain what leasing or, yeah, what leasing a car actually means. Basically, what it means is you can't afford the car. So let's say the car costs 30 grand, which is what an A-class can actually cost. They're going to charge you interest on it every year. So sometimes you'll end up paying like £38,000 for this car. So the £8,000 is what the company who you're leasing it from is getting from you. And you end up with a car that as soon as you buy it is worth like 10% less. By the time the leasing is done, it's probably lost at least a third of its value, at least a third. So in this example, it would only be worth 20 grand. So you've paid nearly 40,000 pound for something that is now worth 20 grand, that you still need to pay for the rest of it. Like you just paying that for, um, what is it? Sometimes it's like three to five years. Sometimes just paying that does not pay off the whole car. So you've still got a lump sum to pay after. So then what, you're gonna spend the 20 grand to, to finish paying for that car and 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 then what? You think it's gonna go up in value? It's, it, it, it continues to go down. Leasing a car is people buying something they cannot afford that is simply going to decrease in value. Now there's different types of leasing and financing things and you can do your own research but basically if you can't afford the car in cash or afford to pay it off in like six to 12 months maximum, then I don't think you should be buying that car. Especially if, if you travel to work on the train. And the funny thing is, I haven't even covered maintenance on the car. Can you tell how passionate I am about this? I just wanna round this section off by saying the 300 pound that he's spending on that car, invested over 45 years, is gonna give me two million. I don't spend 300 pound on a car but I know where 300 pound goes every month. Save or invest double what you're spending on a car. And if you can't afford that, then I don't think we should be talking about cars. Now I'm glad I just mentioned savings because that brings me on to my next point. And it's worrying how much people have not saved. So that's my second point, save. Save some money, save six months worth of expenses, at least. You should always have that on deck. You'd imagine this is obvious and I can't get this across enough because it's not obvious. One in three people have less than 1500 pound in their bank account accessible to them. I'm not really sure what you can do with 1500 pound. You know, like renting a room in London is like 750. So yeah, you could last a couple months. That doesn't cover food or travel or, you know, and that especially doesn't help if you have an A class. Now I want to tell you about something that I've spoken about before, but there was a time where I got let off, basically, there were two times actually, but both times I got let off, I had not all that much. I had about three grand. I was panicking. 
So I can only imagine what it would have been like to have had even less than that. I still had rent to pay, I still had food to buy. You know, you can be out of work. I know some people that their jobs don't pay them sick pay for like a week or so. And then when they do pay statutory pay, it's like a hundred pound a week. What are you gonna do with that? You could break your leg, you could, you know, have some medical bill. There's so many things that could happen where you need this buffer, you need these savings to sort you out. If you have none or very little savings, just add to it. Even if you're adding 50 quid a week, just add to it, please. Start small and save more and more and invest more and more. Now my next point is getting a credit card. Now I'm all for getting a credit card, but if you're an idiot, you shouldn't be getting a credit card. If you don't pay off your credit card in full, you're an idiot. When they give you the option to pay the minimum amount, that's what they want you to do. The thing other than the minimum amount is what they're gonna charge you interest on. So you are literally paying to spend, which, which doesn't really make any sense. The only reason you should have a credit card is to build your credit report or build your credit score, sorry. The people who consistently pay the minimum amount, their interest and their bills can just compound. They grow, just like how if you invest in compound interest, like it works in both ways. Only use your credit card for things that you have to buy. Travel, food, that's it really and you need to know that you're gonna be able to pay that off. Just because you spent money on travel and food on your credit card, doesn't mean now the money in your normal current account should now be spent on other things because that needs to go back to that. It's just to show that you can pay off your credit card and pay on time. You want a good credit card because you wanna be able to buy a house at some point. Now next, you're gonna need to start taking advantage of free time. Now, I am no advocate for this because last year I spent immense amount of time doing, I'm not gonna say nothing, but I could have done more. And I wish I did. Now you need to fill your time, free time with something that's gonna make money in the short term or as learn a skill that's gonna make money in the long term. Now short term is either get another job, find more work, do some freelance work, something like that. Long term is more, I don't know, maybe you can study to do a higher paying job than you have. Learn how to program, because that's probably gonna take a while. Um, but that is a very, very good skill to have. If you know certain languages and you have some experience, you can walk into a job just like that and get 80K, just like that. It's such an in-demand skill. I think that skill will be in demand for the next 10 years at least. These are your youthful years. So you have the time, you have the energy, you can stay up late. And if you can't stay up late, drink some coffee. You can have a look around on my channel to find ways to make money online. To round off this point, don't regret not spending time building something because we don't get more time. Now the next one goes kind of hand in hand with what I previously just said, but it's take calculated risks. The moment I lost my job and I took a calculated risk, a risk that I'd been planning to take for a year, everything changed, but it was calculated. I didn't just go to my nearest casino and put all the money I had on red. I didn't do that. Like starting a business has never been more accessible. People can literally start a business from their phone. I wouldn't recommend it, but you actually could. There's things like Shopify, Amazon FBA, uh, you can sell on eBay, you can literally do anything. I am nearly 24 years old. If I can run Facebook ads, you can too. Facebook ads are just something I use for my business too. You've seen an ad on Facebook or Instagram before. Now my last point ties in with the minimalistic sort of vibe and that's careless spending is gonna have you broke before you've even started. Now I'm sure if you go through your last six month statements and have a look at what you have bought, you could easily find 10 things that you didn't need to buy. Whether that's food, you need food but I mean Nando's or you know expensive food Nando's is not expensive I mean food that costs more than you could probably get it for elsewhere that's what I mean being a minimalist has taught me about being 
purposeful with my spending and I always really was I always thought long and hard about it like even just today I was meant to go and buy a camera and I pondered on it I was about to buy it and I thought let me sleep on it because it's like a thousand pound and I thought nah that doesn't make any sense right now I've got an alternative and that's not even a careless purchase that's a camera that I would be using literally every day but even with something that I would buy towards that you that you would consider an investment into myself i'm still thinking hard about it every time you think about spending money just remember my favorite fact one pound invested over 45 years is going to be 56 pound every single pound you spend you are robbing yourself later on of 56 pound that should make you stop spending money so that 10 pound thing that you bought you robbed yourself of 560 pound i know it's hard to see or think about but it's actually the truth guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like if you're new around here subscribe and on the screen there should be some videos if you like the look of them watch them <laughs>